general uh, planning, which is creating a balance of our territory. That means calculating exactly the areas and the changes of a territory that are taking that have taken place in the project. Now I will show you what the task is. We have a lots, the lots, uh, the lots of the municipality. We have created our zones, and they overlap with the lots there. And uh, I've included only the lots that are overlapping with the zones in separate layer. In this layer, you can see they overlap exactly. The lots have a field which characterizes their usage. In this case, this field. We will first uh, aggregate by this field. That means for every feature that has the same value, in this case, uh, this feature, they have the same value, this feature, they have the same, these features, they have the same value, and so on. You, you aggregate them and sum their areas, this field. You sum it and you get another value, which is for all of the lots with the same usage. <coughs> this can be done manually, but it takes much, much time. I will show you how it's done. Now just uh, sort them by usage, select the same usage either manually with by clicking shift or with the select by expression you go to your your field that contains the usages select them and then merge them and click on sum and the area will be summed. And you can see I've left only one. One feature with uh, the summed area. And this uh, has to be done for all the, all the different uh, entities. In this case, uh, usages. Which uh, is uh, too long of a process. And I prefer to use a plugin which is called Dissolve with Stats. You can find it easily in your... Um, uh, QGIS plugins uh, depository. In this case, it's installed, but uh, if it's not installed, you will search for it, dissolve, and uh, you will find it. Okay, uh, let's go to dissolve with stats. And now, this is our output layer. It contains exactly what we expected, the usage usages of the lots and their summed value of the area. Now we will just change the appearance because we don't need such appearances. Okay. And then we will create a query that will further aggregate the usages. 